watching fucking uh, Ronnie Dunn music videos till like oh, three after o'clock you in left, the morning. After you left the other night, we hung out till like three a.m. <laughs> watching watching country music videos. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, Ronnie, really Ronnie Dunn interviews and music videos. He's got to be the most insane person in country. I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, I, I don't mean, know who he, he is. Ronnie Dunn of Brooks and Dunn. Oh, Brooks and Dunn. Yeah, sure. Brooks and Dunn is they're the best. Ronnie Dunn <laughs> is the singer. <laughs> well, they both sing. What's their well, biggest Brooks hit? Brooks is like guitar, and Ronnie's like yeah, singer. Yeah, Ronnie like writes. I think he writes all the songs. What's their biggest hit? Uh, um, they have like Life a, is a highway. What's that yeah, politics that's it. one? <laughs> yeah. What's the political oh, one? You mean yeah? There's one. What called, is it? There's one called uh, God Must Be Busy. Oh yo! Can and we just lyrics, play that right now on the show? Uh, I don't Dude, know. It's so I don't pick funny. up on the speakers, but no. the lyrics are like. Uh, you know, she, well, she's at home. She can't get a job because she lost it to some foreign land and foreign hands. God must be busy. You know? <laughs> and there's and like there's, a, the Crips yeah. and the Bloods oh, oh, are at it again. Yeah. <laughs> You're ruining the best <laughs> the part. Crips and the Bloods. After the job, losing job to foreign hands song. So that's, oh, that's one, literally an, a lyric. That's, that's a not lyric. you. That's no, a that's trade. A that's like that's trade protectionism. And there's something. Yeah there's, yeah, there's protectionism. There's stuff about not being able to afford health insurance. Yeah. And then there's like. Um, traffic's backed up. There's a sign on the side of the road says there's an Amber Alert, and it's like Amber Alerts don't cause traffic. Right. So I don't know. You're like saying the traffic's made worse by seeing that there's an Amber <laughs> Alert. Yeah, but then yeah. he goes into the deep. We all know what a fucking Amber Alert yeah, is, yeah. and they're like last seen in a white van crossing <laughs> state lines. So he's assuming that they're saying there's a child being raped in the back of a van. <laughs> And then there's a line. They say she's four years old. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the just, just, fuck? Because Ronnie it's, Dunn's insane. It he's is like so insane. politically confused, though, yeah, yeah. man. You don't I, know what just a his perspective line is. Like, and the Crips and Bloods are still at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, traffic's bad because of Black Lives Matter protesters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure Ronnie Dunn doesn't even know what Black Lives Matter is. Is there some shit against Arabs in that song? Um no, he's like there's still fighting in the Middle East. Oh, there's fighting uh, in the Middle yeah. East. Yeah, Cuz yeah. he is like vaguely outlaw country, I guess. And yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so I like he's got to be somewhat anti-war, but like one of those like don't support the war, support the troops guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. sure. I would imagine. Sure. Mhm. And then we watched a bunch of in- interviews with him and you can't even make he's, out a complete it, it's, sentence. Yeah, it's none of it. He's, he's like, fucking saying, all it, over the place. Yeah, so it was a like outlaw country. Yeah, they would be like the, the question would be like uh uh, you know what like, is country music? What is country music? And he's like, you know, of all the places we live, New, New Mexico, Arizona, <clears throat> Arkansas, is, you know, te- Texas was the one. You know, that always felt like, <clears throat> you know, home. But me and my grandma, and uh, you know, because <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of you know, you go, okay, well, maybe this is a little more sort of a you know San Antonio vibe, but you know, down. You never know. <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck? He's like, what the fuck are you it talking? Is, it is the ramblings of a man underneath a bridge. Like, you think he's if he's, he didn't have a a, does he a do drugs, a, a silky voice of gold. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. he couldn't strum that guitar. That he would guitar. be. He would be a. He would be a vagrant on a on a fucking uh, uh, cargo do you think train. He does drugs, probably. Probably. Yeah. He's a musician. Uh, you know, you know Another good one is uh, Montgomery Gentry. Who we didn't really get into, but I like Montgomery Gentry. No, a lot. we watched some of theirs. Yeah, they're Mo- like yeah. <laughs> Montgomery Gentry is. They don't wear cowboy hats. Right. Oh. They wear like truckers. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. Montgomery Gentry kind of looks like. Remember when Rob Mayer was fat? Yes. Yeah. So like, he's like a fat Rob Mayer with like a goatee. He dresses like Ray- Larry the Cable guy. Like kinda. flannel <laughs> shirts with cut off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the song is like about how like his the other neighbors he's in his subdivision, his neighbor. his the neighbors in his subdivision can't handle the fact that he like smokes cigarettes or whatever, <laughs> whatever type of bullshit rebel no, style he, you're clinging to. Is yeah, a yeah. That he like rides four wheelers. Yeah. yeah. Oh and some God. fucking they cuck can't live. Yeah, he's like yeah. The song was like literally. It's like sort of about gentrification and it's like well you can get the hell out because i was here first you know <laughs> but then it's like those homes were built in 1995 yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're living in a mcmansion yeah, yeah. Those fucking- um, this is my neighborhood first and i don't care what you damn think <laughs> you can't think what you want both don't think that about me <laughs> and if you think that about me well i'm putting land man my beer and your house and fuck your wife <laughs> It's like all those songs. <laughs> my beer. <laughs> and my beer and we got my hat. And here's my truck and fuck you, fuck. <laughs> it's great, yeah. 
Oh, that's fucking really rocks. good. Yeah, I don't think dude. I've listened to any country music. It's the best fucking in my genre. Life. It's it's so good because it's such a simple formula. So for there to be a new twist on it, the thing with like pop music in general is it's always like something romantically linked, you right. know. But with country, it's all like figuring out the identity crisis of being like a rural upper middle class American. So it's shit like Montgomery Gentry. Right, right, right. You know, where it's like, yeah, my, sure, my truck costs $80,000, but that doesn't mean I know how to read. <laughs> 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 Don't think I'm some book reading faggot <laughs> just because my fucking, I drive a Toyota four wheel drive now <laughs> instead of a Ford, <laughs> even though neither are manufactured in America anymore. My truck may be from Mexico, but I'm still racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. I didn't even consider like the identity crisis that all these fucking, oh, yeah, that all yeah. these motherfuckers are going through right now. They're making a ton of money in Nashville, yeah, but they like still want to be trash. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like every rapper still like talks about selling crack or 